Oh yes. Oh yeah, the great artist Madarame is holding the, an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his works a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent. The moment I saw them, I knew he was something else. Uh, by the way, you seem far removed from arts, Tomokun. Here's a question. Do you know who created the piece which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? Banjo. Oh, not yep. bad. Seems you know a thing or two. I was an art student. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen and it sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. Oh, Jeez, what? Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe he actually was smart. Kind of surprised. Oh shoot, this teacher's going at us. Nice going! <laughs> Alright. Bango. Intent Bango. Uh, people put a serious amount of passion and money into art. If I had to, if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two myself, uh huh. Hey, hey! Seems like art can make you a tiny sum. Let's see if, with our own eyes, whether or not the accusations of him stealing art are true. You're leading, meeting Lady On and the others at the train station, right? Let's go when class lets out. Sounds good. Come on! Kind of thieves going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. No! Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You come. You should be calling me master. Hey! Oh, kitty! Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard a meowing. Uh... Just the stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Hey! You heard her, Mossy. Press it on its head. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Mew. Wow, we again, again. <laughs> oh, time to. But man, I really want to. Oh man, I am. Mm. I really shouldn't. <laughs> it's so cute. I want to hear it again. Dude, the cat's drooling. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Ah, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. What would happen there? I mush button bashed. Mush button bashed? Button mashed! So which line do we got transferred to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of fan of thief takes the train then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. X is as expected of a famous artist. Okay, let's Looks like the going. fastest route is to the is get to the station square, then move to Central Street. Let's move. Oh. Uh uh I knew that. I know where I'm going. Hmm? Uh. Hmm? Hello? I wish I could 
pain again. It's his fault. I have to live such a shitty life. What do you mean? It's got nothing to do with you. He's fooled everyone. You're all idiots. I was at his beck and call, and this is what I get. It's over for me now. Wait! I don't remember seeing a house. Uh, it's supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We have to walk a bit though, so let's get going. Suguru Kamashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily. Let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? That is a shack. We're at the right address. That is definitely a shack. Wow, look at the patchwork on the left side. The door plate does say Matarame. What? Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, <laughs> will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. Oh. People really do live here. Takamaki. You two are here as well? Whoa, all right, dude. Calm it down. Hey. <laughs> I'm the third Sorry, wheel. But uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? <laughs> we read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... Oh... That is utter rubbish. Oh... I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke. Oh. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. Not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. Huh. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. Oh. I'm sorry. Whoa. Uh. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? Oh? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. 
When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. Don't be as too sure. How's the MetaNav? Oh! Hey, the app! Was it picking up our conversation? This display... It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? Yup. But why? I mean, why else? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? Yep. We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Uh, jail, uh, warehouse, and guidance counseling office. What? Might as well add farm. Far? No Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Museum. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? Shit. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and caught by the enemy? Come on. Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Mm. Hey. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Organa. Yep. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. What? Get that, look. Holy shit. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Hey. Let's just go check it out. Oh boy. What? It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? Yep. Or a casino. This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Oh boy. Uh, there are probably traps too. Yeah, definitely. There are probably. Uh, uh, definitely. Now that's our joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! 
Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in line that gigantic line? Don't be stupid, we're not going in front of the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up there then. In any case, let's get going. Third eye. I have something. Got it. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on. Let's go check it out. Skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out of this way? Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Got a rope. I'm our tool specialist after all. So what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Yep, yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> what the fuck? How suspicious. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Hey, this... It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. I have something. And these things out. Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age? The hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. name too. Is this painting the same deal as the rest? This is creepy. Look at this one. This one's got a name and an age. These all look so similar, even down to the composition. Paintings are all over this museum's palace. This whole floor can't all be portraits, right? They're all like the same woman and man? And it's just like two people over and over again. This is kinda weird. Is it Madarame and his Someone else he knows? See it. It's somewhere. Are they are all of them former pupils?
has a full name. Another, this has got the plaque. This has got the plaque. Uh, this has got the name and age on the plaque. Wait, didn't I look all over? All of them, maybe? Another. Oh. Hey. hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarami is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is the... This is way different from what was at... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in the mementos? You know, the one who was shit talking with the Rame? Natsuhiko Nakanahuara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have like the title of the piece or an artist's name? This is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. There's even a painting of this dude in here. It's somewhere. Oh well, that was the one. Huh? What? No way. Hey. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What are they? What do you think these paintings are? Pupils. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Mm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to confirm. further confirm our deductions. Seems to be some kind of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Hmm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice! That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. Whoa. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. Then the two out of twos gotta be around some here, somewhere here, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Madara Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty efficient to me.
get this. Ah. Hmm. Look at this. The infinite spring? Immortality. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Yup. Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. I don't think he's gonna admit it. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Yeah. You're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. I mean, he definitely doesn't like us. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Such confidence. Mm. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Pipe pipe, pee pee. Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. Why are you bringing up this up for? According to Kitag Kitagawa kun, Madarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of the victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashita. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point of is, uh, is there really a point in us stepping in? Oh, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not. I don't know. If I were if it were up to me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Yeah, let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we could talk at some more after that. Okay. Let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Oh man. No, we've met the victims, or supposed victims, or uh, self proclaimed victims, like the homeless guy, and uh, the bully, and people like that. Please. Why? Let's 
Call it a day and go to bed. Pie, pie, pee, pee? Yo. Hey, it's me. I just can't forgive murder on me. And what Aunt said made me think. To you, Ske, are we just a bunch of thugs? Yeah, probably. <sighs> I knew it. I'm gonna make him pay. Ain't like he thinks it is. What? It ain't like he thinks it is. Pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Please don't take off my mind. His heart's in the right place. <laughs> Thanks. Don't tell Ah I called you, by the way. Seriously. See ya! Well, see you tomorrow. Yeah, a lot of shit happens. I can't